Today we're talking about a very unique and game-changing way uh, medical staff is able to treat emergency situations. So let me introduce you to Dr. Stephen Godwin. He's a professor and chair of the Department of Emergency Medicine for UF Health College and Medicine. Thank you so much for having me today. Hey, this is great. It's great to have you here and it's great to be able to talk about this today. Yes, this is, I love this model. So first let everyone know, because I already know a little bit about it because we mm -hmm. have talked in the past, but if somebody didn't get to see that interview, what is unique about merging, you know, emergency rooms and urgent care? Well, it's, you know, the challenge for the consumer has always been, I've got this injury or I've got this sickness and I need to be seen, but I don't know the level of care that I really require at this mm -hmm. time. So you end up going to an emergency department, which is fine, provides all levels of care, but then you're charged at emergency department levels. Right. And your your complaint may not require that. You walk out and you go, gosh, I had an ankle sprain, mm -hmm. but I've got charged this high level bill. So this model's a little mu unique or really unique and it allows us to merge those two aspects of care, emergency department care and urgent care in the same location. So a patient comes in, and I'll give you the example of the ankle sprain again. Right. Patient comes in, is <clears throat> triaged into the back just the same way you would be in any emergency department mm -hmm. and based on the level of services that are being provided, they will be registered either as an urgent care or an ED visit. In this case, it would be an urgent care visit. And then they were billed for that urgent care um, service. If that, by chance that same patient comes in and they say they got knocked out and they require higher level of imaging, like a CT scan, right? because all these sites provide all, all the same levels of services that any ED would have. Mm -hmm. And so they're able to then image that patient. They will be then seen as an emergency department patient but that's more appropriate for the levels of right. care that they're requiring. Right, I actually have a girlfriend who went to urgent care. I forgot specifically what her issue was, but they said, we can't see you. You need to go to an emergency room. So right. she did pay to be seen there, and then she had to go to an emergency room. So it's wonderful, too, that this can actually help save a little bit of money for people, you know, Absolutely. and especially with emergency situations. So talk about some of the other differences than, say, the, the freestanding um, emergency places. Well, there. again, we have the same emergency physicians that are tr they're working at our trauma center and our major site downtown at our north center all that provide the higher, highest level of care uh, quality that you can receive. And it's both for pediatrics and adults. Oh, and so again, you may go to an urgent care often, they may feel uncomfortable with a pediatric complaint, or they right. may feel uncomfortable with this injury or this laceration repair, those types of things. And the, again, you get shifted into an ED visit where you go, well, I just paid for this. Now mm -hmm. I got to go there. Right. And you're, you're kind of hit in, in two ways. So again, uh, allows you to be able to funnel it into one site right. and get the appropriate level of care that you need. Well, let's let everyone where all the locations are so far. I know it's going to be expanding a little, yeah. but where are they currently? Well, currently we have one on Lane and I-10. Okay. We have another on New Kings and Dunn, and we have another on Bay Meadows and 295. And what has the experience been like so far since it's been open? Oh, wow. And, you know, what's so rewarding to me as someone who's been involved with this project from the beginning is seeing just the what we thought was going to happen is that patients would come in and go, wow, this is exactly what we were asking for. Mm -hmm. I was asking for an opportunity. You know, I don't have to sit there and worry about am I going to the wrong location. This is kind of what they were. I, I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And the, what we've heard from, you know, Google reviews and all those different things is that the patients love it. They love the opportunity to come in, be seen for what they need right. quickly. Our length of stay has been very, very short for both the ED visits and the urgent care side. Okay. And so uh, it's worked out extremely well. We're very excited where we are right now. And we're looking to hopefully in the future to continue to expand, as you noted. Yeah, I mean, this does seem like a game changer, helping a lot of people out there. Of course, that is the that is the goal of that all of this. Goal. So if somebody wants a little bit more information, where can they go? I think it'd be best just to vi visit our websites and, and go from there. But again, we are going to continue to expand. We're going to continue to push the UF brand out there because we really think it's important to have that UF quality care in this Definitely. marketplace. And so this is this has really allowed us to get out of the central hospitals that we've been yeah. in and get into the communities where we really think we can make a big difference. Very well said. Well, thank you so much again for telling thank us all about it today. Oh, well, thank you. Of course. Thanks. And if you'd like to see this interview again, you, know, you can head to our website, and that's firstcoastliving.net.